Okay, this next article is that about the word. domino effect. The domino effect being where one event could be a minuscule event, can trigger another event, can trigger another event, and it's this whole hurricaning, snowballing, massive effect that can change, change history as change we know history. it. Right? This article is going to take us through some of those domino effects that have changed history as we know it today. So so the reason why I, I put this article in is because um, I was watching this video of this man explaining that um, that after World War II, Japanese were banned from creating airplanes. Okay. So instead of creating airplanes, they decided to make motorbikes and cars and really, really um, perfect how they, how motorcycles are made and how cars are made. The, the guy then proceeded to ask a question, imagine if they weren't banned at making aeroplanes. What kind of aeroplanes or what kind of... Um, what kind of uh, aircraft would be created right now because of their determined perfection in how to create things? Oh. And imagine... Yeah, that, that, yeah, they would have made some pretty cool stuff. The Honda Jet. The Honda Jet. And that got me thinking about other things like... Um, and I couldn't think of anything, but in history, if someone was so good at something but was stopped at doing that where would we actually be in in in, in the well, well, like wasn't bmw actually like um making helicopters in world war Two? what and then after world war Two, they started making cars i'm not was sure. that mercedes-benz i think that was I'm so that sure. wasn't the honda thing that was different was it wow i don't yeah, know I'm sure, like, like also with bmw or Mercedes Benz, they were making helicopters, uh, military stuff for Germany. And after World War II, they've changed their business into also automobiles. Oh, there you go. Let's go through some of these, right? History changing domino effect, initial reaction change event things. Ready? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, does anybody remember the Super Bowl event with Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson? Boob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are a hundred percent correct. Ding let's, ding ding let, ding ding. Let's let's just say what it is. So grab, grab apparently, apparently, because of that performance, there were two people that were trying to find a video, like a replay. They wanted to like wait what and and watch it right online. <laughs> they had Perp. no luck. Had, oh, three guys. Perp. These three guys were working for. It's three guys. These Still three single. guys were working for PayPal. Who lived with their mom's house? Oh, wow. The they were yeah. working for PayPal. They quit PayPal and decided to create a video streaming website. That site was finally created in 2005 and was YouTube. <laughs> uh, so you're they're saying me. that like, it's Justin Timberlake three guys and Janet Jackson boobie, nipple slip YouTube. created YouTube. <laughs> oh, shit. Isn't that insane? That's insane. YouTube, we would not be on YouTube right now if Janet Jackson didn't take a nipple out. Right. We owe it all. No, she, didn't, she didn't take a, she didn't take a she nipple didn't out. She didn't take Justin it. Timberlake's it just slipped. Was stuck on her dress and it came out. No, no. She, she got it out. Here's a really interesting one. The fall of the Aztec and Incan empires are responsible for a mini ice age which ended around 1750. You want to know how? Yes. So... Though the Ar the Aztec and Inca Incan empires fell, mm. caused in part by the conquistadors, mm. this led to massive reforestation in areas that were once designated for cities and farmland, right? Mm. That had been cleared for crops and animals. So reforestation. This led to a massive fall in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which brought about 200 years of excessively cold winters, leading to a mini ice age in Europe, wait, wait, wait. ending you, around 1750. Are you serious? We, so we can't be completely carbon free. We still have to have some sort of pollution to keep us hot. Mm. Well, that's, so the, car, the global warming is the idea of 
the atmospheric temperature rising, which if you raise the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by... 1%? However much, if it, it can change it by like a significant amount, but it is tiny fractions of carbon dioxide that does this. Yeah, like a right. 1% increase will tip us over the edge in the wrong way. And a 1% decrease would probably do the same. Oh, this is this is. Wow. But it takes a lot. Talk it takes ha- a lot to change. Talk about having 1%. to have the temperature 1%. gauge on the right yeah. system. Mm, they reckon that this one could raise to three percent. That's what they're scared about. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is a bit of a push as well. If the producers from the 2012 writer strike uh, would have just written, then Donald Trump wouldn't have been president. <laughs> so oh, that's a bit of a stretch because they said they weren't a way that long. <laughs> sorry, 2007, the Writers Guild of America went on strike. They didn't write for four months. This led to TV shows relying on stuff that didn't need writing for <laughs> game shows, reality shows. <laughs> um, they the so, so what, what you're saying is the Kardashians wouldn't be as rich and famous as they are now. They didn't start to for that writer strike. Yeah, they started later, but. Don't talk about the yeah, Kardashians, but, but, CJ. Don't talk about the Kardashians. Emma will fight but, but, you for but, but, it. But then, but then they noticed that, that this kind of uh, you, um, lifestyle TV works. I'm gonna bring so it. So then they created the Kardashians. I just want everyone oh. to know that CJ's bringing it on himself, and so, that, uh, <laughs> the I will be at his funeral. <laughs> the Apprentice. They decided to make it the Celebrity Apprentice. Yeah. This sword. This sword. This got twice as high as ratings as the previous one led to Donald Trump yeah, being... Yeah, but they never had any real celebrities. Led to Daniel, Donald Trump being a mainstay on TV networks led to the presidency because of his popularity. I promise you he didn't become president because of that TV show. Alexander, you've been very, very quiet. This domino effect, you, you it's just... You don't... You don't it's I found, not interesting. I found an interesting one. Go. George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all know George Lucas? Yeah. So, yeah, director yeah. or producer. Director. Mm-hmm. S- Star Wars. Wars. George Lucas really wanted to make a Howard the Duck movie. And after Return of the Jedi, he had the pull to do it. So he did. But Howard the oh Duck lost... God. Oh. Howard the Duck lost him so much money that he ended up having to sell the animation part of Lucas Films. And who did he sell it to? Well, he sold it to Steve Jobs. And Steve Jobs turned that into Pixar. And then the funny part about that is Pixar was then sold to Disney, who bought the rest of Lucasfilms. <laughs> oh. Wait, Steve Jobs <laughs> so made Howard Pixar? So Howard the Duck lost George Lucas, Lucasfilms, to Disney. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but, but, but Disney bought um, Lucasfilms anyway. That's what I was saying. Yeah. But they, he had, there was an animation <laughs> side to it, which he sold to Steve Jobs, and Steve Jobs, off that, created Pixar, like turned that into Pic- what well, is Pixar, but Steve Jobs also sold Pixar to Disney, and Disney bought the, then bought the rest of Lucasfilms. Let's, let's be honest, if it was successful, Disney probably still would have bought it anyway. <laughs> you know, well, um, he, who's he Harry the Duck? Sell it. Yeah, Harry but the like, Duck? um, he he doesn't he didn't have to sell Lucas Films. But he, he, I mean, the the difference being, if he didn't sell the animation side of Lucas, like if he didn't make <laughs> Howard the Duck and didn't lose all that money, he probably would be doing a lot of different things, which means he may not have ended up selling Lucas Films at all. Yeah, but. He would have had the animation and the Lucasfilms part, and he probably would have sold him as a package. Why? I don't know. I, anyways, have you seen <laughs> Howard the Duck? No. Yeah, I have. <laughs> he is horrible. It was such a shit movie. <laughs> <laughs> you actually watched it? Yeah. <laughs> I've never even heard of that. I don't know what's more funny. I am not. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I can't remember what it's about. It was like twenty something years ago, and after I watched it, after I watched it, I'm like, I'm never watching this shit again. I cannot so tell you the storyline. I it was like a horny duck or some Sci-fi shit. Sci-fi action, 1986. 
<laughs> can you I, put? I, can you put? Um, can you back? I do like. Put... Mm-hmm. Press that. Look at that one. This. Yeah, I do. I do like. Antenna? I do like the Star Trek led to the Obama presidency one. I like that too. Um, I'm seeing this Hold in the Reddit on. feed, so I don't. How know does it... Star Trek lead to the Obama All presidency? Right, Star Trek. I, I got you on this one. So, Star Trek Voyager. Um, it yeah. it wasn't that well received as much as previous Star Treks. So in 1997, the producers decided to add a new character in an attempt to boost ratings. And this was the character Seven of Nine. I don't know if you remember Seven of Nine, but very attractive woman. Yeah, I do actually. Um, so Seven of Nine... His name was, is Jerry Ryan. ...was played by Jerry Ryan, this actress, who, because of the role had to have a lot of frequent separations from her husband, Jack Ryan. And due to her acting schedule, it was something that contributed heavily to their decision to divorce in 1999. Now, in 2004, Jack Ryan became the Republican nominee for the open Senate seat in Illinois, which is where he was running against Obama for that Senate seat. And during the campaign, the proceedings from that same divorce became public and it contained details of his sex life that didn't make him look good. This became a scandal that forced him to drop out, which meant the Republicans had to just pick some random person to then be against Obama, which led to Obama winning that Senate race in a landslide victory, which propelled him to be able to have a big national stage to run for the presidency, um, mm. which he then went on to win. Had he had Jack Ryan not have had to drop out had that scandal not have come out Mm -hmm. then it's not even it's not even certain whether obama would have even won the senate seat and he never would have run the presidency oh Mm -hmm. so star trek contributed to a presidency uh, an obama presidency Mm -hmm. so we gotta thank star trek janet jackson's um slip nip Mm -hmm. nipple slip nipple slip (laughs) Jap- Japan's ban from building planes. Mm-hmm. And um, the other good one was the. Which one was it? Genghis Khan, maybe? No. Tuberculosis? No. no. Uh, Alexander's one. Oh, no, the mini, mini ice age. Trees. Oh, no, we don't really have to thank for that because that happened yeah. ages ago. Is there... And also, malaria is responsible for the creation of gin and tonic as well. Just thought I'd drop that in. 